The world that we live in is full of questions. For example, how long do animals in the shelter have to wait until they are adopted? Can we model the growth of internet usage in the country? Or do films with a more adult rating make more money than other rated films? Luckily for us, the world that we live in is also full of data. In this course, we'll learn how to answer the questions that we're interested in using that data. We'll learn a basic analytical framework that will first examine our question to see what it's really asking. Then, we'll learn how to apply the correct analytical tool to help answer our question of interest. And finally, we'll summarize our findings to give meaning and relevance to our answer. Each topic week of this course will consist of instructional videos for statistical concepts broken down into manageable chunks, each of which will be followed by some guided questions to help your understanding of the topic. The instructional section will be followed by tutorial videos for using a statistical software package called R, which we'll then apply to a hands-on lab where we will answer a specific question using real-world data. Now, don't worry about the labs. Before each, you'll actually get a pre-lab with guided video assistance to help you if you get a question wrong. In terms of content, we'll cover basic descriptive statistics in our first unit, learning about visualizing and summarizing data. Unit two will be a modeling investigation where we'll learn about linear, exponential, and logistic functions. We'll learn how to interpret and use those functions with a little bit of pre-calculus, but we'll keep it very basic. Finally, in the third unit, we'll learn about inferential statistical tests, such as t-tests, ANOVAs, and chi-square. This course is intended to have the same punch as a typical introductory undergraduate statistics course, with the added twist of a modeling section. This course is also intentionally devised to be sequential, with each new piece building on previous topics. Once completed, students should feel comfortable using basic statistical techniques to answer their own questions with their own data using the widely available statistical software package called R. I hope you'll join me in learning how to look at the world around us. What are the questions? How can we answer them? And what do those answers tell us about the world that we live in?